Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to listen to some mumbly jumbly. All the way from St. Albans, your host for tonight, Abs the Magic, Super Coach Godfather. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining. Actually, today is a big day for us. Have a look at this, 1,500 subs, we've cracked the 1.5k mark, thank you for that 1,500 subscriber, and thank you to all of you that have subscribed, I'm very, very happy today, and we have a special guest on today as well, I'm going to introduce you a special guest, um, now this, this man has come all the way from Las Vegas, okay, he is well known, he has, um, actually he has a big cousin, you may not all know his cousin, his name is Nostradamus, okay? Now, we're going to introduce to you uh, Nostradamus' uh, cousin, okay? Well, it's his 15th long-lost cousin, okay? He didn't know about him, but his, his name is Nostrafava, okay? Nostrafava will be joining us today. He actually has the same voice as me as well, so that's just a coincidence. Just come it down if you hear the same voice. Uh, but he'll he'll talk to you about some forecasts, what, he, what he's forecasting, because he has some knowledge. He's... Nostra Fava, okay, we're going to put him on soon, but today we're going to also discuss uh, shopping, how to do shopping, okay, uh, when we say shopping, it's not, not like uh, uh, going to Coles and buying milk, okay, it's different, uh, for example, okay, let's go back to the subject of Coles, okay, uh, when you go out shopping with your partner or your sister or your mum, you know, back in the younger days, or even now, depends how old you are, okay? Or actually, I used to go with my mum shopping, and I'm, um, my mum's 80, and I used to take her out. Okay, but anyway, you'll notice that there are items that she won't buy that she needs. Like, for example, uh, there'll be Omo, on, uh, not on special, full-price Omo. She won't buy it. She'll, she'll wait another week, and then she'll buy it, okay? There, there are things like this, or you'll see, you, you want Coke, Okay, or you want um, a le lemonade or Fanta or something, and and um, the missus won't buy it. She, she, she'll watch. You go, why don't you buy? I want Fanta. Why don't you buy me Fanta? What's wrong? And she'll say, no, no, we're going to buy it from Woolworths. It's, it's cheaper there. We're not going to buy it from Coles. Well, women know how to shop. That's the problem with the men. Oh God, we don't know how to shop, okay? Unless you're a single man and you're on a budget, then you then you know, okay? Just ask JP, he knows. But um, we're gonna we're gonna show you. I'm gonna show you some ways to shop today, all right? Because we have some bargains coming up that you probably don't even know about. Okay, you probably didn't even you probably didn't even look, but we have bargains. Yes, they got specials at Coles coming through soon. Okay, just come down. Okay, let's get on with our special guest now. We're gonna go to dailyfantasyrankings.com.au uh, now. You're probably wondering where is where is he? What happened? What happened to him? Where's Nostra Fava? Well, just come down. He's not coming. Okay, he's not. He's not gonna come. He was supposed to be coming, but uh, apparently he changed his mind. So we don't need him anyway. Okay, next time we might bring him on. So let's continue without him. Now, we're going to talk about taggers. This is our topic today, taggers. Okay, because we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to shop. Okay, now we're going to talk about taggers. Who's, who's, who are the teams that tag? Well, we see Adelaide tagged a few times, not enough. The Lions tag a few times, they tagged Oliver, they tagged uh, Merritt, they tagged Danger, so they do tag as well, but not often, because it's only like in the third quarter, so it's, it's not a huge tag, alright, but they may still tag, alright, Oliver seems to cop it, and Cochin has copped it as well, so is Danger, okay, so that's a team that tags, Carlton Collingwood, they do not tag, Essendon, they tag, forget about this, they got a new coach, they tag, Frio, uh, they tag, they, they only tag Oliver, okay, Oliver's the one that cops it from Frio, okay, Geelong, they tag, not all the time, sometimes, but they tag Mitchell, uh, Neil, Shuey, and Walsh, and then Cripps, they've, they've double tagged, okay, so they tag as well, uh, Giants, they don't tag anymore, the Hawks, that's all they do is tag, they're tagging practice games, so they tag, okay, Melbourne, they don't tag, and North Melbourne, well, they got a new coach, so we don't know. Okay, we're going to find out if they tag or not. No, has, nothing has been shown yet, so we don't know. Port Adelaide, they tag, 
Patraka, Walsh, Wines, Zeret, Laird all got tagged. Okay, so they tag. Richmond do not tag. St Kilda, they tag in practice games, so they're going to tag. The Swans, they tag. Okay, who else tags? Uh, West Coast, Petrarca, Brayshaw, Miller, Brayshaw twice, they tag. Dogs don't tag, except one time, okay? All right, now I've made a little list of the taggers. So here they are, okay? These are the ones we're going to worry about. Hawks, St. Kilda, Essendon, Geelong for question mark sometimes. Port, Sydney, and West Coast sometimes, okay? All right, let's continue. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to find out who would play? Who are, who are they going to play? Like for example, who's Geelong going to play in the opening rounds? Who's Carlton going to play? Now Geelong is not super coach relevant. We don't have any players. Uh, actually, Tom Stewart is. So let's have a look. Who's Tom Stewart going to play around? Uh, play against in the opening rounds? Let's have a look. Is he a tag risk? Let's find out. Okay, Collingwood, Carlton, Gold Coast, Hawthorne. Now we know Hawthorne tags. We know Sydney tags. We know Essendon tags. Now, are they going to tag Tom Stewart? I mean, Sydney might. Hawthorne, we don't know. West Coast, we don't think so. So it could be a Hawthorne and a Sydney tag and possibly an Essendon tag, but we're not sure, okay? So there is a, there is a tag risk on Stewart, okay? A slight tag risk, all right? But it's not a huge one, okay? So he's not, he's not, as, he's not as in danger as much, okay? So as much as the opposition. Actually, who is, who is Hawthorne going to tag besides Stewart? Probably Stuart will get will cop the tag. So it could be around four tag, and then around six tag coming. So we could get a price reduction on Stuart's. <laughs> I might have to get him out of my team. Just calm it down, everyone. Okay. Now, Carlton. Who's going to tag Carlton? Let's have a look. Let's close this, all right? Close this. Now, who we've got at Carlton that can get tagged? Cripps is one. All right, who are they playing? All right, Richmond don't tag. Geelong don't tag. GWS don't tag. North, we don't know if they're going to tag. St. Kilda, I mean, Adelaide, they don't tag. So it's going to come against, in round six, we might get a Crips tag, okay? But it's not it's not backed up by another tag back-to-back. -back. Uh, maybe Lions in round eight. So Carlton is not in danger, all right? Uh, they might get they might get the St. Kilda tag. Maybe a West Coast tag, okay? Maybe, maybe not. So it looks like Carlton, not in danger, all right? So you can get, you can spend freely on Carlton players, no problems, all right? Now, Essendon, are they going to cop any tags? Let's have a look. Who are they playing first up? Okay, first up, Essendon. Well, who, who's at Essendon? Okay, now, who have we got? <laughs> we've, got two, we've got two big players. We've got Parrish and Merritt. Now, have a look here. They're going to cop Hawthorne and St Kilda in, the, in uh, two of the first three weeks, okay? There, there's two big tags coming to either Zach Merritt or to Parrish. Uh, and then probably by about round five, you can pick up Zeret pretty cheap if he gets tagged big time here, all right? His price will drop or Parrish, depending which one gets which one they, they tag. So we may, we may be able to get um, Zeret in round five uh, at a discount price. So let's put him on a list. So we get the notepad out, okay? Now what we're going to do, we've realized at a good time to buy Essendon players is going to be in round five, okay? That's for Essendon. Let's continue now. What, what other teams can we look for at different times? Because we need to know what what that, what weeks are good weeks to buy players, okay? Let's, let's continue. All right, the Bulldogs. All right, who's taggable at the Bulldogs? we got got um, Libba and we got... Let's close this off. We've got the Bont, okay? So they're the taggable players at the at um or Bailey Smith they might tag, alright? So let's see who let's see um who the dogs play in the first rounds. Okay, they play St. Kilda in round two, alright. But that's about it for the taggers. Then you got Frio who might tag. And then you got well, the tags might come here, alright? You got Frio and Hawthorne. So if you if you want to buy a Bulldogs player, I mean Bont you get him early. But you can always get a Bulldogs player in round nine. But there aren't many players in round nine you want to pick up, okay? Because then they well, well, let's just write it down, okay? Bulldogs, round nine is a good time to buy them. Okay, Bulldogs, because you always look two weeks later. Bulldogs, round nine. Okay, let's continue. Who else is taggable? Okay, let's go have a look at West Coast. Well, they don't have any good players. <laughs> let's skip on them. Okay, Gold Coast. We have Took Miller. Okay, let's see when he gets tagged. Actually, is this the right, okay, fixture? Okay, Gold Coast, okay, this is a better fixture. All right, Gold Coast. 
We have Sydney, all right, might get a tag. Essendon might get a tag, or well, Essendon will get a tag. St Kilda, they'll get a tag. Okay, you don't want you don't want any, any Gold Coast players until round six. Okay, and then in round six they cop North. We don't know. Actually, Frio's going to tag as well. Actually, probably round seven is the time you want to buy a Frio player. Okay, let's go. Let's go Frio. So it's where you target them. Okay, so Took. Well, let's say Gold Coast. Gold Coast. Round seven is a good time to purchase a Gold Coast player. Okay, because we, we we're expecting a couple of tags coming. Let's continue. Who else? Uh, GWS. When are they playing? Okay, they play Adelaide, West Coast, uh, Essendon Hall. Okay, Ooh, we've got some big ones here. Okay, we've got Essendon Hall form back to back. So if you want to pick up a G, a, a um, let's say Kelly. Okay, if you want to pick up a Kelly. Round four, round five, we've got two big tags coming. Round six, you might cop a tag as well. Round seven, you might cop a tag. You you can pick up Kelly in around about round seven or eight. Okay, maybe not seven or eight. Kelly. Okay, is going to be cheap. That's if they tag him, but it looks like they will. So we go to um, we got a GWS, and we're looking at around about round seven or eight. You can pick up a bargain, all right, from a GWS player. Let's see where else the bargains are going to be. Uh, Richmond players, well, there's going to be none to pick, so don't worry about Richmond players. Hawthorne, who's at Hawthorne that you want? Nobody. Okay, don't worry about Hawthorne. Uh, the Lions. Okay, who's at the Lions? We've got Lucky Neal. Okay, let's see where Lucky Neal, when he cops the tags. All right, let's have a look. Port might tag him around one, but then he has a, his off, so it doesn't matter about the Port, port tag. Actually, Lucky Neal, you can actually start with him, okay, because um, you've got no problems. There's no tags. Nothing coming all the way up to Frio game, round seven, and then cops round nine. So you can wait till the... You can get him... Well, he's got the round 12 by as well, so you could probably get him. Well, as soon as you get him, he's going to get tagged. <laughs> so it's it's going to be a tough one. For, well, the Lions are out of the question, okay? So it's free to purchase a Lion player. All right, St. Kilda. Who we got in St. Kilda? Well, we got... We got Steel. Okay, when is he getting copper tags? In round three, he has Essendon. He'll get a tag then. That uh, Then he doesn't get a tag. Okay, well, St. Kilda's only got one tag coming pretty much... Or Freo might tag him, so safe to buy St. Kilda players because we're looking for two or three tags back to back. One tag doesn't hurt the price that bad, okay? So St. Kilda, not, not many discounts. Freo, okay, let's see when they cop the tags. We have St. Kilda, okay, we have West Coast, we have Adelaide, okay, Freo, if you want to buy a Freo player, and mind you, Freo have the round 12 buy, okay? Uh, round 8, 9. Okay, best time to buy a free play after the buy rounds. Okay, he's going to cop a tag at round 8. Might cop a tag in round 9, but maybe not. But the round 8 tag will give him a discount up until round 12. So, you know, three weeks in a row. We'll see how he goes. But Frio off the charts. Okay, Frio, you don't have to worry about him. Okay, they're pretty safe. They're going to cop the round 1 tag. And all the way down to round 8. And there's no Essendon yet, so round 15. So, they're, all, they're spread pretty nicely for Frio. All right, who else is there? There's Port players. Who's in Port? Well, there's... Who are they going to take at Port? Ollie Wines? Uh, well, there's nothing here. Okay, forget about Port. All right, Sydney. Okay. Let's have a look at Sydney. you got Hawthorne. you got Port. Then you got nothing, really. So, Sydney's safe. We'll go to Collingwood. Okay, we've got Dacos. Well, that's not Dacos, but we're just looking at Collingwood's fixture. Just calm it down. Okay, we've got Collingwood. Dacos is a possible tag. Taggy, okay. Port, well, then he has nothing back-to-back. -back, so, well, the problem starts here, okay, for Collingwood. We have St. Kilda and then Essendon back-to-back. Brisbane, possible. Adelaide, possible. Sydney, possible. Oh, my God. Dacos is going to cop it, okay. Um, Dacos, well, you want to get him probably... We might even cop it in round eight. Dacos is going to be a problem. Okay, you might want to get him in the, in the round nine or ten for Dacos. Let's write this down. So I'm going to write down Dacos. I'm not, I'm not even going to write Collingwood. I'm just going to write Dacos. Okay, Dacos, probably round nine to ten. That's when you want to get him, if you want to get him. Okay, so he's going to do well probably then. Otherwise, he's going to cop a lot of tags. He's going to go downhill. Okay, who's next? Let's let's have a look at the important one, the one that everyone's on everyone's mind. Oliver, when's he going to cop his tags? Let's have a look. Oliver, I already mentioned Oliver's tags coming anyway, but let's have a look. Okay, now, we have possibilities here. Brisbane may tag him. 
Sydney may tag him. West Coast may tag him. Essendon may tag him. He may have two good runs in a row here. Then Hawthorne might tag him. Then Port might tag him. Okay. And then Frio might tag him. Poor Olive, he's going to cop a bad. Okay, but we, you have to pick him up somehow, somewhere. Okay, I think he'll be at his cheapest probably after the Essendon game. You probably have to wait. You have to skip the Richmond game and get him in round seven. So, Oliver, in round, in round seven, you've got to buy a lot of players. Okay, uh, there's going to be a lot of players on that round seven, uh, which is the, which is the time when people start buying players. So, round seven, you're looking at Tukmiller, Oliver, and Kelly probably around eight. So he, there's a few bargains coming up. So maybe save a bit of cash. You could bring two in at the same time, Oliver and Took at the same time. See how you go. But th th these are all the bargains coming up. And sometimes you need to forecast and, and budget when you want to bring players in. Uh, I, I find that usually works well for me. And um, that way, you can. I mean, obviously, there's going to be other, other times where they have bad games, which also helps. So if there's a bad game in between all this, it's even better. Well, not better if you own them, but better if you want to get them. Okay. So that's my plan. Okay. That's that's what you should be planning for. You should be planning to, to when you should be looking at getting players and which players you should maybe not consider starting in case they have um, a, a bad draw. Okay. They're, they're important factors because if you pick up a Zeret for 620K and I pick up a Zeret for 500K, I've gained 100k on you, okay? So there's, there, and plus you've copped a couple of tags with him. So, and I, I'm going to get his better scores at 500k. So these are some things that you have to factor in, okay? Now, that's going to be all for today. And remember one thing. It's nice to be important, but it's important to be nice. Ciao for now.